What's going on guys, I'm Fuller with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. And last time we did one of these videos, you guys absolutely loved it. We had a whole bunch of emails and a whole bunch of comments of people asking us to rate their before and after pictures. So I went through again, uh, pulled up a couple of them, six actually. I wanted to pick five, but I accidentally picked six, so we're going to roll with it. Uh, and we're going to jump in, rate these trucks, scale of one to ten, you know, pretty typical. And we're looking at the before and after photos that people have submitted. And this time I made sure not to pick all GM trucks too. I know you guys think I did that on purpose last time, but I really didn't. So we got some other stuff for you this time. So first things first, sorry if I don't look at you the whole time, I got a screen in front of me too. Uh, we got Ben's truck. So it looks like this is a 2016 Ford F-150 and looking at the before pictures uh, and he said this was like right after he picked it up from the dealership, all he had done was tint. It's a very sharp looking truck actually. This is a limited, it's a very well optioned, uh, kind of high trim package F-150. But wow, yeah, you just go to the next photo and he's got like pretty much everything done on it now. There's a, a whole lot going on here. So I'm gonna click through a couple of these and okay, now I got a good sense for what it is. So uh, we're looking at XD hole shots. Looks like about 20 by 10, negative 24 on here. And then Nittle Ridge Grappler 275.55 and he's got a rough country leveling kit on there. Um, the truck overall has a very like aggressive off-roady type look to it. I think the 20s are actually maybe a little bit bigger than what I would have went with. Uh, cause you don't have a ton of tire there. I think maybe an 18 would have better fit the look of this particular truck, but, uh, rough country pod lights up by the A pillars. He's got the, uh, window visors, the tint, like I said, um, looks like maybe just a smoked out like film over the stock headlights, which actually looks pretty good. Rough country grill. Uh, he's got more of the pods in for fog lights. He's got like a, a bash bar on there with the light bar as well. Uh, rough Country side tubes, lots of Rough Country accessories. It's a good way to get a lot of stuff done for a pretty affordable price. Aftermarket tail lights as well. Um, side exit exhaust, that's kind of cool. You don't see a lot of that. I'm gonna assume that this is a five liter. Uh, it looks really good all lit up. He's got like the Raptor style lights on there too. Blacked out all the emblems and badges so they're now like a flat black rather than the chrome that was on it. Pretty much blacked out all of the uh, the chrome that comes on a limited. So you like, you kind of pay a little bit extra for fancy wheels and fancy trim and then uh, Ben actually took it all off but I think it looks really good now. I really dig this. So I think as far as the transformation goes, I think I'll go with a nine. Uh, because like I said, I just would have went with a little bit smaller wheel. I think the fitment on here is great and everything looks good. It's pretty proportionate, but if you wanted to go for that more off-road kind of style, I think dropping down to maybe an 18 would still give you a blend of show and off-road. You know, it's not like a 15 or 16 inch wheel or something like that, but still enough that you have some cool style. I like these uh, XDs too. This is not a super popular wheel, but it definitely fits this build well. Next one. Who do we have here? This is Austin. Uh, looking at the before photo, we've got your very basic uh, regular cab, two wheel drive, Toyota Tacoma, like uh, pretty much work truck package. It's black though, it's not white, so at least you got that. It's got the black plastic bumper, the black plastic grill, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if these headlights might be aftermarket though in the before photos, they're like a uh, black housing. Uh, and then looking at the after photo, totally cleaned up the entire truck. So 09 Soto Tacoma, 17 by nine fuel vectors uh, with fuel uh, gripper AT tires. So fuel on fuel there. Fat Bob garage, three inch suspension lift. Never heard of that, but doesn't really matter for the purpose of this. Uh, switched out the headlights back to the clear housing and then got some aftermarket taillights as well. Painted the back bumper. The front bumper is now painted bumper as well. And it looks like the grill was done too. Very clean. And honestly, for being a single cab, you know, not a lot of people are fans of single cabs, but I think it really, it looks pretty nice on this uh, specific Tacoma. One inch wheel spacers, front and back as well, to give it a little more stance. Uh, definitely looks like, you know, this would be a fun truck to run through the desert with. He's in Georgia, so probably not gonna actually do that, but it still looks really nice. Uh, it's very clean, very, very clean, all blacked out. You know, these fuel wheels don't have any sort of machining on them. All you have is the little chrome F in the center cap, otherwise all black. The whole rest of the truck's all black. He definitely has some uh, windshield tint on here as well. And that just makes the whole truck all blacked out. Um, there's really not a whole lot more to look at, but I think it was a great example of taking a work truck and turning it into something that looks like a show vehicle. So that was, that was pretty sweet. Um, I guess I'm gonna ha kinda have to go with the same thing as the Ford. I'll give this a nine because everything that's done to it turned it from 
stock to looking like this. So there's a lot I think that goes into this truck that goes unnoticed because you have things like it's still a factory grill, but he went and got a, a painted one. It's still a factory bumper, but he went and got a painted one uh, and all that. So that's why it still gets a pretty high transformation score from me. Next one on the list we're looking at is from Logan. This is another uh, single cab. Today must be the day of single cabs. So when he picked it up, it looks like more of a work truck, farm truck kind of look, but it's got a cool um, custom paint job. He said this is a, is a custom done paint job. Looks like it's like a really dark brown and then this cool copper color. It's pretty sweet. The wheels that were on it are either Pro Comp or Icon or Method, something like that. Pretty like off-road setup. And again, very small. I would say probably 17 inch, maybe even 16 inch on here, um, which is probably the smallest you can go on, on a Cummins. And then the after photos, you went with a completely different direction for it. So first off, these headlights on here, absolutely amazing. He's got like the jewel pod, uh, headlights those are pretty sweet and the aftermarket grill it's got the same like raptor style clearance lights in there he's got the light bar and the bumper um 12 rock lights on the thing it's 22 by 14 drop stars and 305 40 22 toil proxies and he has two inch spacers so it's very very wide uh very aggressive street tire look on here stage four tune delete five inch straight pipe 10 inch tip uh, dual disc clutch, uh, custom stitch shift boots, billet shift knob, 5% tint all the way around, 30% windshield, 20% brow, and the coolest part, I think, is the Starlight Headliner. So that's like what you might find in a Rolls Royce he went and put in this single cab Cummins. I think that's pretty cool. Um, custom painted headlights, custom painted taillights, all that kind of stuff. Took out the box that was in the bed and replaced it just with a tonneau cover which for a show vehicle like this, I think cleans it up really nice and looks very good. Absolutely sweet. I would say if I wanna give this one a number, this one, honestly, I'd probably give a 10. Took a very off-road truck and made it into a very much show truck. And I actually like this kind of single cab build with the street tires. I think that's a, a cool direction to go with a single cab truck. And he's got a ton of rock lights in here. I love the Starlight Headliner. These new headlights in here are absolutely awesome. I'm sure he paid big money for those. Those are pretty sweet. Next one, this is from Alvin. So before photo, this looks like a, uh, reminds me of a Border Patrol truck. It's a basic white F-150 with the steel wheels and pretty much a very low work truck package. Looks like maybe this was an auction vehicle. There's a little bit of damage on it. Uh, it's pretty dented up on one side and it's got some um, window paint on the window. So that's why I thought maybe it might be an auction vehicle. But then, wow, you go to the after photos and it doesn't look anything like that. 22 by 14, negative 76 gear forged F71P and 35 by 12 and a half. Uh, tires, six inch rough country lift, red powder coated cross member, eBay headlights and taillights, which look very similar to like the OEM uh, headlights that you would get in a, a higher trim truck, like an FX4 or something like that. Chrome grill, he's got red badges as well. These tires I haven't heard of before. I haven't seen those, but crazy wheels to think like you have a work truck and now you're gonna throw some massive, uh, you know, 14 wide, fully forged polished wheels on here. All right, so for a rating on this one, I guess I'm gonna go with an eight and a half. This one just doesn't pop as much as the last couple that I saw, but still pretty impressive to go from work truck package to uh, very much so a show vehicle. Had to sneak a Jeep in here as well. This is from Alexander. Uh, we only have two photos to look at, so I won't spend a whole bunch of time on it and don't wanna bore you guys, but looking at a stock Jeep essentially, except he's got the angry, uh, grill on it that makes the headlights, you know, have a little cover on them that makes the front end of the Jeep look angry. Uh, and then afterwards, not your typical Jeep build. So RBP forged, it looks like for wheels and then Venom power tires. Love how squared off they look. And especially on this Jeep, you can really tell like how square that sidewall is. And they also make some pretty crazy sizes that um, are very wide and not very tall, which I think kind of fits this Jeep well. Looks like he switched out the front bumper to a stubby bumper. And then he's got uh, like the armor style fenders on it as well, which also gives you a lot more clearance. So he might actually be able to turn this thing. 
but pretty intense build for a Jeep, but not in the usual sense that you'd see it. Oh, aftermarket headlights too. Just trying to look through some of these photos here. Uh, let's give it a rating. This is always hard by myself because I'm just kind of making stuff up as I go here, but I think I would go with, I'm gonna go with a seven and a half on this one. Um, cause I, it's wild and crazy and out there, which I like, but at the same time, if it was my Jeep, I don't think this is necessarily the route that I would go, but he does have some crazy wide wheels on here that are very impressive and the tire selection, I think matches up with it. Nice. Um, if you know, this is the look that you're going for, just not me personally being a huge fan of this style. Uh, so that's why it gets a little bit lower. And there's always room for more stuff to do here too. So um, some custom custom paint or powder or something like that. Cause it's really just a black body Jeep with black fenders, black lift and uh, your polished wheels. All right, so next we're looking at 2019 Ram 2500. It's got the Carly pin top 2.5 inch King leveling kit. It's a very, very nice leveling kit. Probably, probably not only one of the best leveling kits you can buy, but also one of the most expensive out there. Uh, Carly adjustable track bar, torsion sway bar, 20 by nine method standards, and 37 by 12 and a half needle ridge grapplers. So we got a whole uh, Google Drive folder to go through here. Looking at the before photos, uh, it's your pretty standard black and white, nicely optioned Ram 2500. These trucks, I think from the factory come looking pretty decent. Um, this one's got the black wheels on the white paint scheme, blacked out grill, pretty dark uh, headlights. It's got black badges, all that kind of stuff. Throw on some tint and it's a very good looking truck right off the bat. Um, but it looks like this truck actually gets used quite a bit also. There's some off-road photos in here too. So definitely went with, you know, some quality stuff there. Spent the money on the Carly kit. Got really good tires, you know, being the Nitto Ridge Graps, it's one of the most popular tires we sell. Method has been making super strong, uh, lightweight off-road race wheels for a very long time. So it all just kind of goes well, especially, you know, uh, you spent the money on a brand new truck, you might as well try to keep it riding like factory. So these Kings on here are, are very impressive. Um, appearance wise, you know, not really a whole lot changes. Sometimes that's how it goes though. There's not a ton to look at because all the money spent is in, I guess you could say performance, not performance as far as like driving fast and whatnot and making more horsepower, but good ride quality performance and good tires that are going to wear well for you and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, just looking through the four and after photos, this kit definitely levels it out nicer. The truck looks absolutely huge. Uh, it's two and a half inch leveling kit, but you're stuffing 37s on there and they definitely are stuffed in the wheel wells, but, uh, you can thank Ram for actually making some wheel wells that, that fit a halfway decent wheel and tire setup. OEM lights, but you know what? They look really good. I don't think I would change anything about them. Same for the tail lights. Uh, it looks like it still fits in his parking garage too. So you got all that going for you. Um, rating it, I guess the transformation itself doesn't look like a whole lot happened, but because I know what's underneath the truck, I would give this truck, uh, I would give this truck a nine too. We gave a lot of pretty high numbers today, but honestly, a lot of these were very nice. So Going with a nine there, a lot of it has to do with the quality of the components that he went with. So I think this was definitely a great build uh, to make a 2500 that still rides halfway decent and it's capable off-road and you got 37s on there. So that's that. That's me rating your before and after trucks because you requested it. Uh, if you guys want to see more of these videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I still have a bunch of emails to go through from you guys that did send them in. Otherwise, if you want your truck featured, the easiest way to do it is to add it at customoffices.com forward slash add and we'll get that handled for you. If you need wheels, tires, suspension or pretty much anything that you saw in this video, we can probably do it for you. Uh, you can check all that out at customoffsets.com and we'll get you taken care of. All right, peace.